Hey everyone. It is time again to continue on our journey through Heartgold. And Noble is here today, though he's unfortunately dealing with a bit of a headache, so he's gonna be in chat pretty much all day and communicating from there. What are we doing? We're in... We have to go up into the lighthouse. Because we have to go find out about the sick Ampharos. Lighthouse? Yes, Lighthouse. Chat is very small. I'll need to adjust that in a minute. A normal trader with a full restore? The wealthy ones can do that. Let me see if I can't adjust chat size here somehow or another. Um... No, that's what I gotta do. Nope, that just resized it. Actually, that might work. There we go. Forgot about fall capsules? How do you forget about fall capsules? the game because it's the only game they did it in. What's this? The only game they did ball caps in? No, I'm pretty sure they made a return in at least one other game. This was the game that did it originally. No, I mean something other than a Gen 2 game. I apparently need to just have Flappy in the lead for this. Go look it up and double check, because I'm pretty sure it was in something other than just gold and silver. Yeah, they did it in Sh a Diamond and Pearl. I was say, I was pretty sure it came back in something else.
Probably Diamond Shining Pearl, whatever. You know what I meant. Eh. Point is, it's been in something other than just Golden Silver. that because you played I have played uh I have my controller oh my controller off I have played uh brilliant diamond I have one second Yeah, because I don't have Pearl. Also, my copy is digital. I did tell you I have it, I just also told you I have it digital. Which is why I can't lend it to you. I only have it digital. I just want to power jump the Pidgey. Hydrate. I will hydrate. My notifications are working, that's nice. So test stuff? I did say test stuff. I assume sound levels are okay. Everything seems to be fine, good. Swag. I <laughs> came into me finding swag, nice. Eat the candy? I will later. No, do it. I will. I'll get to it.
Audio sounds good? Great. I swapped over to OBS uh, because I just could not get XSplit to cooperate. Like, at all. Hello. Oh, hi, Rob. I had to look at the name for a second. I was like, wait, who? So far, so good. Knocks on wood, yeah. Uh, well, I'll knock on wood. But yeah, no, so far, everything's look. Hey! How was Let's Go? So, we had to talk about that at the end of Let's Go. Um, The basic opinion that me and Noble had was, like, it was a nice trip down memory lane uh, for Gen 1. We, we enjoyed it. But I really, really hated the catch mechanic in Let's Go. Like, it was awful. And me and Noble both kind of uh, missed the... Out of the Thunder Punch. Uh, me and Noble both missed the actual, like, random encounter battles. Oh god, they were so bad. And I don't know if it was just how my Joy-Con was interacting with it, or it was actually me being bad, because like I said, I was pretty sure I was throwing dead on all the time. But... Who was to add Joy-Cons? Tenting in Pokemon Go and a giant advertisement, so yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, the, the Pokeball might change my mind on it, but, like, with the Joy-Con, it was awful. Outside of that, outside of, like, the terrible catch mechanic, I had fun with the was that? It was a great trip down memory lane. Is that a shiny Eevee? Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, as, as mentioned when we started this, uh, me and Noel are each playing through the game with our favorite Pokemon. Uh, so we did a little bit of tweaking to our save files because we're not transferring anything from Gold and Silver over to the bank or to home inevitably. Uh, hi, Thoriel. So, we cheated in a Chansey for Noble and an Eevee for myself. For me, it's Shiny Umbreon that is my favorite Pokemon, so I opted for the Shiny Eevee. But as I said, nothing from Gold and Silver is going over into the bank in the long run. Uh, which is why, currently, you could look at the Living decks. But nothing for Gen 2 is being updated on the Living Dex right now. We will go back to updating that when we get to Gen 3. Yeah, it's a really nice shiny. They added a Winterfest Eevee? What is a Winterfest Eevee? As a little Christmas hat. Interesting. Oh, okay. Jatini's gonna evolve too. Cool. I 
I do have to be careful about EV leveling right now, because my EV actually should be pretty close to evolving. And I don't think I want to have it evolve until after 5 o'clock. Because I think it's after 5 o'clock in which it's considered afternoon. Actually, now that things have all evened out, I can take the uh, EXP share off of my Dragonair. Yeah, I don't know what Necrozma is, because we haven't actually done... We haven't actually played Ultra Sun or Moon. Neither me or Noble have. We played Sun and Moon, but not Ultra. Uh, so, like, that's gonna be our plan for when we get there. It might be after 6... Point is, I have to be careful about leveling Eevee right now. Yeah, let's... So, like, the big thing about doing this was we wanted to play through all the games that we haven't played. Starting with playing the opposite games of the ones we normally played. So, in this case, I'm playing Gold because I always played Silver. Noble never played Heart Gold or Soul Silver. So, we're playing those. Neither of us have played Let's Go's. Um, we... I played Alpha Sapphire, so I'll be playing Omega Ruby when we get to Gen 3. Uh, we're swapping for X and Y. We're gonna play Black and White 2, because we only played the first one. Uh, we'll be playing the Ultras for Sun and Moon. We'll be doing the DLCs for Sword and Shield, because I've only played one of the two DLCs. There's a lot we got going on. Really look forward to playing Ultra, Ultra Moon and Sword. Probably gonna invest most of our time. We are gonna probably invest a good amount of time in Ultra Moon and Sword. Uh, I know actually probably a, most of our time is going to be invested in X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because that's like the first 700 Pokemon between those two games. That shiny cost you your thumbstick? How? What did I miss there? Hit the most of all Pokemon lock behind that and getting national decks? Uh... Yeah, I know like a lot of Pokemon in a bunch of games are locked behind getting the national decks. Which generally isn't that bad. Oh, hours of breeding. Um, as for, yeah, oh, trust me, I, I'm aware that there's a reason that we are emulating this generation and not playing it on cartridge, uh, a couple of reasons, but the large one being is that I did not particularly want to lend Noble my copy of Soul Silver because it has a complete living dex on it that is about half shiny. So yeah, I didn't particularly want to give that up. Chris, thank you for the gift sub. I've got it. Rob, that's some luck to... You're pretty new to the channel and already got to get a sub gifted to you. That's great. Now you've got good reason to come back. You don't have to look, through, look at ads. I mean, that's aside from coming to see me, but that's... 
that's a different story altogether. The pull laptop here where set up hotspot just to send it. Thanks. What? Oh, right, because it costs more on mobile, doesn't it? Which is so dumb. Yes, subs cost more on uh, iOS. It's like an extra dollar, I think. This is another reason I hate iOS. Chris, you could have given out a bunch of extra subs with that money. Oh yeah, I actually probably don't need to go to Orange Islands at all in this, since I'm not on Silver. I just have to do... Burnt Tower. Alright. Noble, you get to have fun out in the Orange Islands later. I have had that Pokemon Uranium sitting around for... Years? How long's it... How long ago was it released? I don't know. I've, I've had it sitting around for years and have just never gotten around to playing it. But I have it. Because that was taken down uh, by Nintendo real quick. Like, day it was released, it was taken down. Oh, is it still up? Last I knew of it got taken down. AM2R, I think, got a few days of being out before Nintendo sent the cease and desist on that. But, like, Uraniums, I specifically remember there was, there was a big thing about it, because it was, it was down, like, the day it came out. Like, hours after. Yeah, Nintendo's not big on people doing stuff with their IPs. Pokemon Brick Bronze? That one I'm not familiar with. It's a Roblox Pokemon game. Alright. It was big. I mean, like, supposedly Roblox has a kind of big following, so... I mean, sure, but, like, two good things came out of it. One, the community picked up and continued working on AM2R, because there's nothing Nintendo's gonna... can do about a whole damn community working on it. So, like... It's still getting its work done. Like, it's got tons of mods and all kinds of stuff available for it. And two, Milton Gosty got a job with the company that made Ori and the Blind Forest to work on uh, Ori and Will the Wisps. And he did level design in that. So, like, all that work he did for, like, six years on AM2R landed him a job. I still need to play the first one. I haven't actually tried it since I rebuilt my computer and got the different video card and stuff. So I might give it a go again at some point and see if it uh, doesn't have the freezing issue like it did the first time I tried it. Is it? Hmm. 
I'm still really excited for Tunic to get added because I, I've i been trying to work out like all the checks in Tunic to make sure I actually know where everything is. And uh, I'm down to like nine checks that I don't know where they're at out of the like 300 that are in the game. Ori of the Blind Forest and Ori and Will the Wisp is a Metroidvania that's pretty critically acclaimed. Like, people really love Ori. I've never actually played Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. I think I've seen it played once at a GDQ. Yeah, you're gonna need to teach Whirlpool to something. I'm pretty sure in gold I don't have to come out here at all. Hydrate? I will hydrate. Could be funny to fun stream we could try it sometime. A, I've never played it, so I don't know really how it plays. I have, like I know it's kind of like a puzzle game where it's like one person's trying to defuse bombs and the other person is giving instructions. Yeah, like I think Noble, Noble, do you own the VR version of the game? It still reminds me, I need to get some stuff set up at Noble's house. Uh, Noble said, if he still is going to let me do this, that I could do some VR stuff using his VR setup. Uh, I just have to actually get around to setting the stuff up over at his place. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to set up, but at some point in time in the future, there's... Uh, might be some VR stuff happening on the channel, we'll see. Chris, no offense, but I'm not entirely sure I uh, would trust you to try and defuse a bomb, even with instructions from me. I mean, I can give you all the inst the clearest instructions in the world, and you would still somehow find a way to fuck it up. <laughs> and you know that's true. Hi, uh, Maximiliano. Maximiliano. Rude. No, I said she was the bomb. It's not wrong. See, I'm right. No refunds. No hablas espanol. Um. Uh, I think that's n no speak Spanish. If my Spanish. Yeah, that's a no. Um. I always forget which one's no. The between no habla and si habla is. C is yes, no is no, right. Uh, is this still disabled? Damn it. Uh, no speak English. Uh, yeah. English. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the show anyways, if you can understand that at all. It's been a long time since I took Spanish classes, so unfortunately my Spanish isn't entirely up to date.
Noble, how much uh, Spanish do you know? Uh, adios, bye bye in video. Uh, let's... Goodbye. Have a good one. More than you, but less than expected. Okay. Thanks, Chris. I was, if somebody wants to translate chat, that would be great. Uh, Jeff, if your pants are spicy, you should probably do something about that. Like, I'd be concerned over uh, spicy pants. Oh, I don't want Dragon Arrow for this gym. I actually want Ampharos out. I don't know how to speak Spanish either, I'm sorry. We were taking some Spanish in school and I was not good at it. Yeah, that's pretty much where I was at. Fire type. That's gonna make Jasmine's gym a little rough because her last Pokemon is a really terrible Steelix. That's fine though, we'll deal with Jasmine when we get back there. I don't have anything to fighting. Take care now. <laughs> bye bye then. See you, Jeff. Thanks for stopping by. You're still coming over Thursday, right? Uh, I think it's gone. Probably a little too late. Oh well. Being Canadian, you had French? That makes sense. I did miss what you said about having French classes. than I expected it to. French is one of the languages where I really... All I really know is how to curse at people. That's fair. Does he saved you so many trips to Pokemon Centers? Yeah, that's probably nice. That's why they took it out of later generations. It's just that you skip too much. Too much... Uh, let you... Save on a lot of backtracking that they want you to do.
Alright, take a quick save so I mostly just so I have all my Dragon Rages back. Poor mom. Man, she's just... In this game, she does nothing but buy me, like, berries all the time, which kind of sucks. I really liked... Yeah, this gym's fighting types. Uh, I really liked in the original, she would buy you little decorations and stuff for your room. And there was a incredibly rare chance she would buy you a Snorlax, uh, like, beanbag that would just take, like, a huge chunk of your room. Is there a reason I've locked myself into these four particular ones? Uh, mostly because there's... I haven't found anything else that I actually have wanted to use. There is another thing or two that I do want, but I can't really get them till later. Oh yeah, we found out actually, I want to say maybe a year ago, Noble found out that you can actually buy the Snorlax plushie. And it's massive, and it costs a few hundred dollars. You would use a hyper potion. Oh no, it missed! Damn. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Primate's always super mad. Really? At least that brought it back out of the range in which he should use uh, a full restore on it, probably. Oh shoot, I, I never went above full heals! Cool. We're winging this. Really got a paralysis off of a body slam on me. Don't send out poor Eevee, it's been through enough. I mean, Eevee might be the champ here. Normal's weak versus fighting? Okay, so it just has to not hit us. Or even with the sand attack, it'll still hit. Oh well. Fatality. I tried. Okay, now if I could just, you know, not miss the Dragon Rage this time around.
Uh, I think the better idea here is lead with Twister since Dragon Rage put it low enough to get healed. Two double teams, really? So now I'm fighting against that, so... fight yeah that's that's what we're having right now time you witness the strat. I mean, a legitimate strat. If your opponent's gonna double team, just sand attack them. It's too complete your game. Uh, yeah, it was the ghost gym. Which was hilarious. Struggle won the day, yeah. My opponent struggling won the day. nibbling at its ankles. Uh, yeah, let's go straight for Ampharos. Ah, it landed the Focus Punch. Surprisingly didn't kill. Unfortunately, puts us in a bad place for the polyrath. That puts us in a little bit of a better place, though. And I can just one-shot it. That works, too. Good enough. Take the win. Yes, I want to learn Discharge. Uh, oh, what's Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Hi, Angie. Thank you for the raid. Uh, Thunderbolt is 95. And charge is 80. And I'm going to take it over Thunder Wave. Items everywhere. In Scarlet and Violet, there are items everywhere, definitely. Uh, 
Alright, it's five gems down. Ah, oh, is this where you get fly? Okay. No, well, that should be the guy that gives you the fishing rod, I think. This there should be somebody here in Cianwood that gives you a fishing rod. You just started playing Scarlet? Yeah, so there are items everywhere and they respawn. I know I was picking them up constantly while I was in the living room. Picking up items everywhere? Yeah, the, so like, that was the real thing that took me out. Yeah, they respawn. That was the thing that really got me on it uh, with playing through Violet. Was I was like, there are just so many items everywhere. And then I, eventually I was just like, wait, have I already picked this up? I picked this up too. And then after playing around, I found out, yeah, items respawn in Violet. It's crazy. I was thinking about going and getting Shuckle because you don't fuck with Shuckle. But I don't have anything with Rock Smash. I also don't have anything that can fly at the moment. So... How are you going to be able to tell if you got them? You won't. Like, that's just the unfortunate case. It's in the one house I didn't check. Oh, right, there is something here. Is that... Farfetch? Oh, the Shuckle. Oh, I I was gonna go smash the rocks up north to get Shuckle. Because he can pop out of the rocks up there. Yep, that's Shuckle. He's going in a box later. Yeah, I need to pick up something with flying at some point. Really? The first tile off the shore? Swap Dampros back to the front. Okay, we got a long way to train Dragonair anyways, because it's got to get to 55 to evolve into Dragonite. is a tanky tentacruel.
I'm gonna go buy a bunch of items from the shop once we get in here. Uh, before I spend an hour fighting Jasmine. Oh yeah, actually, I've got to go back up and give the medicine to the Ampros. First things first, let's heal and reset our uh, death point to here. I suppose that's the best way to look at it as a death point. Next up, let's go do a bunch of shopping. Yes, give me revives. Uh, could probably grab some repel. Oh, no, I have them. Bag, cool. So then, whatever's left for spending on ultra potions or hyper potions, hyper potions, not ultra potions. What do you have for my mom? Ooh, Moonstone! I don't necessarily know what I would want to use that for in this generation. I have no idea what's actually in these two houses either, now that I'm thinking about it. Crabby for a Voltorb. Oh yeah, the fields. Another the girl who gives you a bunch of them. Will it cure it? Uh-huh. Some dude in a pharmacy across the sea said, here, give this to it. So, maybe? The answer is apparently yes. Why did she take the elevator? Or, uh, the, the ladder and take... Here's the other thing, it's like... Going down the ladder, there's no way to actually get out of the lighthouse. You have to take the elevator out. How does she get out of the lighthouse? I don't care about the safari zone being open.
Alright, alright, time to go throw my face at Jasmine. Oh yeah, these people just talked to you and they're just like, hey, you did a thing, we're not even gonna fight you. I think she goes all the way down, realizes she can't actually get out, and then just uses an escape rope. Because that actually makes sense, at least. Straight to the Steelix, okay. Oh, he's so chonky. <laughs> of course it's got a berry. Am I gonna Dragon Rage my way through? I was definitely gonna try. It's not cheating, it's a move in the game. I'm paralyzed. If, if I hadn't had the paralysis there, I would have won that. This is when she goes in with the hyper potion? Yep. Shuckle, if you beat this Magnemite, you can stay on my team forever. Oh, what do you even have? Check moves. even do anything. Yeah, we knew that wasn't gonna work. Sonic Boom? Actually, Sonic Boom doesn't do that much. Fusion hits, on the other hand. Snap out of Fusion, get hit with Paralysis. We're gonna heal, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, Sonic Boom's flat 20 every time. Dragon Rage is 40 or 60.
Dragon Rage is 40, okay. I was pretty sure it was 40, but I had to double check. Thunderbolt out of nowhere for no reason. That's fine. And then back to the side booms. There we go. We are through Jazz. So that is six badges now? And we gotta go back and fight Price on our way back. Noble, you said you have what, till 6 today? Squiggly 6? Okay. That's fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna get out here on the route just for a music change. And then I'm gonna get up and go take my break a little bit early today. Um, but I give us like another hour and a half then when I get back for us to trek through with some other stuff. So, I will be back in just a few minutes, and we'll keep going on. We should be able to get Price's Badge no problem at this point now. And I think we're off to Blackthorn, which is the Dragon Gym in this game, I think, is what the last one is. Then again, we might also have to go do Burnt Tower before the Dragon Gym. I forget. It's been a while since I've had to do the Order of Things. Um... But yeah, so I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll keep going.
Hi, I am back. And I just realized I probably should have done this before I, uh, when I walked away, but I'm gonna save. It's been a minute. Radio's been taken over by Team Rocket. Oh yeah, that's a thing. I don't think that's happened in my game just yet. Elden didn't call me? No. It's probably because I haven't beat Price yet. Yeah, I have to go back and beat the Ice Gym. I passed on doing it earlier in, uh, think of saving time. I probably could have beaten it, but it was going to be really heavily RNG dependent. place Suicune shows up at is because they went the crystal route with the three dogs in this game so Entei and Raikou are random on where they are kind of like they have specific points in which they can show up but uh, Suicune has three specific places it shows up and it's like a small little event kind of thing I apparently didn't fight this guy when I came through here last time. Well, fish can learn rollout. It's interesting. I mean, kind of makes sense, it kind of doesn't, because, like, it's a water Pokemon. <laughs> like, one that's actually in the sea. How does it use Rollout in the sea? It's also a spiky ball. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a fair argument to it. I'm gonna save right before price because I haven't actually... I didn't actually go by the Pokemon Center. Oh, I take it you went and saw Bill. off with Ampros on this because of the seal. Eh, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I'll take Aqua Tail.
God, he's so chunky. Much easier price fight than I was having earlier. Ah, that is seven badges. Now Elm should call me. Yep. Yeah, if you listen to radio, it's all Team Rocket stuff, yeah. I remember that. right the first time. It's here where I want to go down. What am I doing? Just fly? I still don't have a flying type. <laughs> or anything that can learn fly. Yeah, well, when I see one... That's the only reason I haven't, is because, like, I haven't seen a flying type in a good minute.
Yeah, I considered it. But again, I also haven't seen a wild Pidgey in like forever. You have to get a uniform in this version? Where do you get the rocket uniform? That just goes to the GTS. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was down here. Yeah, that makes sense. Never mind the guy who just shoved me out or shoved you out of the way. Go for me, because why wouldn't you? Strips the clothes off of you. I would just get to do a whole bunch of rocket fights all in a row. Oh, it's gonna buy me a bunch of a bunch of items with dirty money. Your haunch crow's gonna get you have a haunch crow?
Actually, no, we should probably get out for Alligator, because he's a little bit lower level. all the things that make sense. How do I bitrate just tank for a second? Seems to be doing fine now. If the stream starts looking choppy or anything, let me know. I was expecting another coffin that was just going to self-destruct again. Here, nearly as much as I expected it to. That one to kill.
All right, we're gonna run back out to the focus center and get a heal real quick. That's not the way of the Poker Center. I mean, technically, it's the way to a Poker Center, it's just not a close by one. Whatever's going on with my bitrate seems to have settled itself out now, so that should hopefully be fine. You're watching Death Note? The movie or the anime? The anime? Good choice. How many episodes were in the in the original anime? Yeah, it's been a long time since I've watched the anime. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I haven't watched One Punch Man. Yeah, a lot of people said it's really good. It's on my list of things to watch, I just haven't gotten around to it because I hardly have time to watch things that have subtitles. I don't think I've watched anything off of Netflix in a long time. Quick reminder about the Living Decks is that it's not being updated for Gen 2. We'll go back to updating it when we get to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Just since I saw you pull up. 
I also have to find some time to go back and catch up the rest of some stuff from Gen 1. And I'll probably go back and do that later tonight. If it's yellow, we've caught it, yes. If it's rather it's yellow if it's yellow, we have one, because this is a living dex. So if something evolved, we need to account for not having the one that it evolved from as if we don't have a backup one. What do you mean Gen 1's not been updated? It should be fine. Yeah, no, it looks accurate. Right, we haven't actually finished it. Like I said, so I'm planning on... We, we played through Let's Go, and when we were done with it, we were like, we have basically one of every line of things. So we figured we would just go back on our own time to finish off the Gen 1 Living Decks. That, or we would just end up picking up the things from another game, because a lot of those things that we don't have are in other things. So we didn't feel the, the dire need to go back and complete Gen 1 currently. We'll get around to it, though. Don't worry. And so with Gen 3, there'll be a lot of stuff getting updated. Alright, have a good night. Thank you for coming by. paralysis in a row. We're just gonna switch for the gloom. I did not want to sit and fight another Mega Drain battle with paralysis on.
Mom, what are you doing with all that dirty money? Let's go rescue the director first or second. It's like him out to heal. I guess we'll find out. We'll just go rescue him first. Just gonna buy berries. Yeah, no, that's probably accurate. fight apparently. Really confusion off the bat. Was in this game. to the Magnemites, huh?
Hey, here's a crit. Paralysis. Actually, that curse was perfect. Because that just basically guaranteed that kill. I go right into the rocket hideout. Now I have to remember how to do this silly door puzzle, because it's been a while since I've done this. I'd be scared of a gloom. And that's not what I'd be expecting to have sent out if you were trying to scare me. Like, I'd expect, like, Haunter or... Mischievous. Noble, did you ever find your Mischievous?
Because we might have lost Noble for a minute. Oh, there he is. You did find it? Okay, cool. After five, in which Eevee can evolve into Umbreon. So we're gonna give it the EXP share. And we'll find out because I should be able to cancel the evolution regardless. Lantern, Honchcrow, Ninetales, Mr. Viz, Pupitar, and Blissey. Solid team. One of the things that's going to be on my team, we do, we probably won't be getting to today. Uh, we'll probably do that. That should probably end up being close to the first thing we end up doing next time. And then... I don't know what I want for the six, actually. Something, some kind of flying type. I assume you meant ran out. Ran hour of PP for try attack. Blissey can learn try attack? Considering Grace is offhand. That's actually really good. Alright, we have to pay attention now. In fact, I'm even gonna save state here just in case. Beyond. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be after six then. We're gonna leave the EXP share on so it can keep getting experience low. Double chance for secondary effects and moves to that. Oh, okay.
So the good news is we know Eevee is in evolving uh, range for friendship currently. The bad news is we need it to be after six o'clock. So we may not be able to, may not get a chance to evolve it until next time, because next time we play should be probably a 7 p.m. stream. Very surprised with how awful I've treated it. Yeah, but I've had it with me everywhere. It knows what's up. It's got Stockholm. <laughs> it's evolving out of dissociation from my trauma and abuse. I mean, to be fair, it is evolving to the dark type. So... Stop. I mean, Pokemon in general is pretty messed up, so... Like, that's not even close to the most messed up thing in Pokemon. I mean, not even close. in a row? That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't think I can actually teach a slash because I put cut on him. But you can't forget HM moves. So yep, we're gonna have to leave slash for the moment. Gotta get those flutes. Eh. Oh, is it just a gold bat and a wheezing?
It's just a gold band of wheezing. It's not that bad. You're back. Welcome back. We're just about to finish off the radio tower. Six hours? That's about how long I've been up. If I hit it with another one, it's not gonna kill it. I would probably put it in range for potion, except that's probably also going to put it in potion range. Or not, okay. Works for me. Still SBN. Yeah, it's not even quite Right back, I'll be right here. Or at least another half hour, anyways. Hi, Archer. We met you in uh, Let's Go. I was a New Year Charmander in Pokemon Let's Go and Pokemon Go. They definitely do a lot more than they used to. Ooh, I didn't think that faint attack would kill me. That's fine. Probably fine. Okay, it was a crit. That explains that hit. Don Doom's just strong as hell. I might be coming back up to fight Archer again. He has a party hat. Uh, I could revive for alligator. Go for Surf. Okay, heal Eevee. Yeah, now we'll just take the loss. We'll come back up and we'll fight him again. Keeps crit flinching you with Fire Fang? Yeah! That's one of the reasons I like Hound Doom. why I'm opting to just go back up with the full team rather than sit there and try to struggle bust the fight. Because I could, but it would just take forever.
He's an ice block now? Nice. Not quite a snack. Kind of, but snack adjacent. Less than a kilometer to your Valkyrie V Nine Umbria. Nice. I'm gonna say best course of action might be just be leading in with the Aqua Tail against Hound Doom. Does it probably survive a hit? And again, there's coughing. Ah, oh, I just barely survived it. That's fine. Because we've got metronome on for alligator, which means we can metronome surf. And I'll be surprised if this actually doesn't kill the Houndor, or Houndoom. Alright, he is a bit tanky. And he got a flinch on me. Well, he wasn't standing up to that, sir. Nope, not yet. Go do burn power. Oh, yeah, that's the other piece of it. Need the second thing. I don't remember what it is either, come to think of it. Noble, do you remember what the other item you need is for getting Lugia and Hello? Because you get the one here, and I completely forget where you get the other one. And I don't remember if it's story related or not in this version. You don't remember, right? You don't remember anything. I don't know why I asked. Big money, no whammy.
Alright, I'm making another save real quick. Because I don't want to have to do that again. Got a lot of, got an ultra ball from the lark because Shuckle matched a number. So that's what, like one number? the Pidgey. We got a flying type now. I just get rid of tackle. How is Evie doing on experience currently? Nothing on this level, okay. I'm gonna take your item anyways. I gotta figure out what the last, where the other item is.
Yep, I was right. So there's a the Kimono Girls battle. I was just confusing when it was supposed to be. So there's still one more run in with the Kimono Girls that we have to do that actually makes them show up. So we have to just press on for a moment, I guess. That's like a ridge, and this should be black door. Yep. is probably gonna, gonna be where we'll call it for the night. Uh, that seems like probably a good stopping point. And if it takes longer than 16 minutes to get over there, we'll see about getting Umbreon first. Black doesn't stop Dragon Rage. You know, for, par for paralysis only is supposed to affect you 25% of the time, it just got me three times in a row. Butts is evolving. That didn't take long. And now we have a bigger Butts.
I should use Ampros for these fights. Time to cross the cave into Blackthorn. Right, Ice Path. We're gonna put for Alligator in the lead here. like the remastered version of this song. There's Waterfall. You bought like 50 super repels? I mean, I'm just not worried about warring and running into battles, so. Those might be something I actually want. Doesn't Snowrun in this game? Snowrun was Gen 2, right? This one get pushed. It's gotta get pushed left and then down. Right? Yes, because you can run underneath the hole. You have to be careful not to push it up. This one has to go left and down, left and down. Left, down, left. Cause it goes to there and it's gotta get pushed back up, yes. Bicycle ice skating? That sounds dangerous.
Only if you're a rectangle. What? And then this one's just up and left. I think you can run under this hole too. Yes. Shabrae are close enough to sick now. I could probably just start killing wild Pokemon with Eevee. Oh, if I push it up, though. No, yeah, it should be fine. Push. Or maybe not. Uh, is it down and then right? Yeah, I think it's... Gotta go back down and then to the right and up. Jinx! Yeah, these battles aren't even worth fighting with Eevee. Alright, goals on center, I believe. Yeah, should be. Do I have to land off of to get on there? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is like get to the town and call it there. I have to land onto it from this side. I think. Because I have to remember how to get through this, because it's been a while. And that would be up and right, okay. Wait, now, so hold on, because it's... You gotta land on that one. You should have to go from there. Oh, okay. It's from this side I start. That's why I had it backwards. has nothing to do with the puzzle, it's just there so you can get the item.
I don't have Rock Smash on anything. Once again, I don't need it. I just have to take the longer route around. Shame that things in here aren't just a little bit higher level to make the experience worth it. I think in order to get that item, you have to drop in from the floor above. Maybe not. Hold on. Uh, do, do, do. No, I can get that. Welcome back. You are back pretty close to the end of today's stream. I did get it. Hey, remember, you're seeing everything out of delay. It's a shame there's no trainers in there, because I would have liked, like, a single trainer fight. Hang on, I'm gonna go find a trainer fight. So we can get this done and out of the way real quick. Maybe a higher level Pokemon than 22? That's not better. Oh right, this is the other end of Dark Cave. necessarily know that there's any trainers in here either. Damn it. Wobbuffet? How much does a kill on the Wobbuffet worth?
316, that would still take a little while. I was hoping for a trainer so we could get something closer to like 800 or 1,000. Oh well, it's gonna just have to wait till next time. Alright, we got a quick heal. Let's do it now. No, it's, it's fine. We'll do it next time. Alright. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, next time, go grind it out because otherwise you'll have to wait for Nightfall again. The next time we play, it will probably already be Nightfall. Because, like, you're usually busy on the weekends, and I work during the week, so... Chances are, the next time we play, it's already going to be Nightfall. Anyways... You're right, I don't know that, but we'll worry about it then. Anyways, let's go find some, somebody to raid who's doing stuff. Sky is doing retro game stuff. It looks like she's playing Yoshi's Island. GDQ's doing Scarlet and Violet. They're like five hours into a run currently, it seems. I don't want to go watch that one because I haven't seen the end of it yet. And I think Angie... Might also just be getting started on it, so we're not gonna go there. Uh, we'll go say hi to Sky. Uh, see what she's doing with Yoshi's Island. And me and Noble will be back, uh, hopefully sometime this week doing more. Uh, should be back to Axiom Verge races on Wednesday, and Jeroth should be over on Thursday to pick up playing Earthbound, which he started forever ago, and if you guys have missed it, I think there's two episodes of that you can go check out on our YouTube and see what he did already, because he, I think it's two sanctuaries in. He just reached to Paula, so he's not too far into it yet, but he's starting to enjoy it, so let's go say hi to Sky, and I will see you all later this week.